Well, hello again, folks. Today I am going to revisit a topic that I touched on in the past. Two topics, actually. Two topics that go hand in hand. That's making money and saving money. And the reason I'm bringing this back up again, well, there's two reasons for it, actually. First off, the way things are in the world right now, with inflation going crazy on everything, it's getting harder and harder for common folks like myself to make ends meet. The second reason is, what I share with you on my channel is our real life as it unfolds. Our real life without embellishments. We don't take out a camera and do all kinds of crazy things just to bring more views to my channel. I don't have the time for that, nor the interest for it. What I share with you is what we're doing. Sometimes it's more exciting than others, but that's the way life is, right? Some days are better than others. So what I share with you is what we are doing, and what we are doing right now is saving money. Okay? What I'm going to share with you today is tactics we use to put free food on the table. That's right. Free food on the table and anyone can do this. All right? So here's a little food for thought for you. A while ago I did a video titled I Love Credit Cards and I talked about how I rarely ever pay cash anymore and I use my credit card to pay for everything. And then I pay the balance off when it comes in. And I get checks, rewards money for using the credit card. Well, this is my third one on this credit card here. And look at the amount. $451.59 right there. That's $451 that I wouldn't have if I didn't use my credit card. I paid zero interest and I got this as a little bonus. They said it's not free money. So we're out shopping today and wanted to pick up some ground pork and the ground pork was $2.89 a pound at the store. 15 feet away from the ground pork I see these pork loins here, whole center cut, boneless pork loins, all right? So here we have these whole center cut, boneless pork loin, all right? All pork right there, $1.79 a pound, all right? So these two right here come to about 18 and a half pounds of pork. So 18 and a half pounds of ground pork at $2.89 a pound would come to around fifty-three fifty, give or take. So by buying it like this and grinding it myself, eighteen and a half pounds of ground pork comes up to about thirty-three fifty, give or take. Right? A twenty dollar savings. So by grinding this ourselves, we're gonna end up with eleven and a half pounds of free ground pork. It's worth the effort. We're going to do it right now. After getting the rewards check from the credit card company, we went to the grocery store with it. This was $451.59 that was given to us for the simple task of paying our bills with a rewards card. And even though this bonus check gave us free money to shop with, our meat grinder offers a money-saving tactic that stretches our dollars even further. Now they sell these for people to make a loin roast out of. We've done roasts like this before, and they're okay. The dark meat portion of it is the best. The rest of it, it it's okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'd much rather go with a uh, rib roast, or if you're gonna bake the meat, slow roast it, do, do it with bone, a piece that's got bone in it. We used a 
I think it's country style, spare ribs a lot, you roast them in the oven, garlic and rosemary and stuff like that. If you are interested in the homesteading lifestyle, if you're a hunter or a do-it-yourselfer, or just want to stretch your grocery dollars, a quality meat grinder is a must-have item that will pay for itself in a short amount of time. I'll share my recommendations in the description below. That's a mess of ground pork and it took three and a half minutes. It'll take longer to clean the grinder than it did to grind the pork. Awesome! How many pounds did I say that we had? 18 pounds. So we need 18 pieces of paper. This system right here, the paper cutter, this is the way to go. I have had this roll of paper probably a decade. Big, big money saver, big time saver. You know, especially when you're doing a whole animal like a deer or something. This is the way to go. Those little boxes in the store, really costly. And we don't bother buying freezer tape just a roll of packing tape, like uh, two inch wide packing tape works great. Never failed us. Yum yeah, save the money. We find it works best to put the meat in cheap sandwich bags before wrapping it with freezer paper. Not only does this give your product double protection from freezer burn, this two-step process will keep your finished packages clean and free from blood and meat residue. So we got all of that ground pork right there for free. Just for doing what we did today. Well worth it. Well folks, it gets even better. The savings continue. When we ground up those loins, we were saying, we ought to go back and get some and make some sausage. We don't have much sausage left in the freezer. And if you buy the sausage in the store, the average price is around $3.99. Sometimes you get it on sale for $3.49. It used to be $2.69, but everything's gone up. So... When we have sausage, we like to have it a little bit fattier than what we do when we have ground pork. Those loins make great ground pork. Um, not too fatty, just, just right. It's just the right consistency. But when we make sausage, we like to use uh, pork butt. Okay. In fact, the video that I showed you in the past, we were grinding pork butts. So we decided to get online and check the other stores. Just happens to be Hannaford's has pork butts on sale, 99 a pound. All right, so we go back out and we pick up these pork butts. All right, check this out. So we have these pork butts here. They're 99 cents a pound. And these are a really good consistency for grinding sausage. A little tilty, she agrees. Yeah, some sausage, yeah. All right. All right, so these two pork butts that we bought comes up to 23 pounds. So we're going to make 23 pounds of sausage, give or take. All right, our cost was $22.81. If we went and bought 23 pounds of breakfast sausage at the store, 
because that's what we're going to make, breakfast sausage. 23 pounds at $3.99 a pound comes to $91.77. All right? Our cost is $22.81, which is a savings of $68.96, which translates to 68, I'll call, call it $69 worth of free sausage. But the best part about it is we bought these with the rewards money that we earned by simply paying our monthly bills. So some people don't want to call it free money. We'll call it easy money. But like I said, it translates to one heck of a savings on the grocery bill. Yeah, man. So we're going to get back to work, or should I say, back to the grind. When I posted the video titled, I Love Credit Cards, like all other videos, I ended up with a handful of negative comments. People trying to say that it's not free money, this doesn't work, the credit card companies are going to get their money from you, you're going to pay more, and a whole bunch of other excuses. Excuses trying to strip the credibility out of my credit card using tactics. <sighs> if that's the way you feel, don't bother responding to this video because you are not going to talk me out of practicing the tactic that I use, okay? Because I just proved that it works. It only works if you use your credit cards to pay for bills that you will normally pay and pay in full each month. If you're the type of person that uses a credit card to buy things you can't afford and you carry a balance every month and pay interest on that balance, well of course this doesn't work and you are not receiving free money. You're paying for it on one end and paying for it on the other end. Okay. All right, so this video would not be for you. But those of you that want to pay your bills in full every month, this is a way to get something in return for the action of paying your bills. Again, which I have just proved. Okay. Just to clarify this, if I paid $2,000 worth of bills and paid cash, my cost would be $2,000. If I deposited all my cash and then wrote checks to pay for $2,000 worth of bills, my cost would be $2,000, plus the cost of those checks that I write, plus the cost of all of the postage to mail out all of those checks. And at 50 cents a whack, it's going to add up pretty quick. Okay, by paying everything with the credit card, a rewards card, not only does it simplify the process, I don't have to run into the store and wait in line to pay cash for the gasoline that I just put into my vehicle. You do it right there at the pump and earn 2% from that transaction. Some purchases are 1%, some are 2 some are 3 and so on. So, paying $2,000 worth of bills with my rewards card, my cost is going to be $2,000. But, I will earn, for 1% purchases, I will earn $20 for that purchase. On 2%, I will earn $40. On 3%, I will earn $60. And so on and so forth. I just showed you that we paid bills. I got a rewards check of $451. I went to the grocery store, and those pork butts were $99 a pound. In the same store, chicken thighs Chicken thighs and drumsticks and leg quarters were 99 a pound. We prefer the thighs, 99 a pound. We grabbed some of those, we grabbed the pork butts. I could have literally purchased 451 pounds of pork or 451 pounds of chicken that I got from that money that the credit card company gave me or of course a combination of pork and chicken or whatever. 
I don't know about you folks, but I want to stretch my grocery dollars as much as possible. And when I'm stretching free money that I got simply by paying my bills, <laughs> it is a win-win situation. But like I said, you have to discipline yourself and only use the card for bills that you are going to pay off in full every month. Hey, it works, folks. The proof is in the pudding or in the sausage or in the chicken thighs or you name it. Maybe I'll spend it all on pork and look someplace else for fresh chicken. What do you think? Frankie and the boss out walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss